<laughs> Welcome to the quad. It was the quad. It was the quad podcast. It was a podcast smash. It caught on in a flash. It was the quad podcast. It was the Quad Podcast. It was a podcast smash. It caught on at a flash. It was the Quad Podcast. What's up, everybody? This is the Quad with Chris Young. As always, I am Chris, and we are in spooky season, baby. Welcome yeah. back. We Woo! are here. All four of us are in studio, so I'll start from right all the way to left, because I'm sure Ryan will want to have the last word anyway. <clears throat> um... <laughs> We got Haley the Bear. I forgot how much I love that opener. Oh, it's it's incredible. Done by producer Josh. And our good friend, Chris Young. Thank yep, you. Hello, that, hello. That's actually me doing all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's so it it's so fun to me because the amount of time we just spent like trying to create something that only Happens once a year. <laughs> happens three times. Yeah. yeah. It's going to happen three times on this podcast in a month. Uh, and last but not least, welcome you back. know him, you love him. Welcome back, Ryan from Miami. Yes, yes. Good to be back. Uh, we'll have an explanation coming up in sports for why I have been absent uh, here as of recently, but I had nothing to do with that open, and I'm just happy to be here so I don't get fined. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here so I don't get fined. Uh, okay, so we, we've got, obviously... Like you see the hat, I just I'm I'm owning it this week. We'll we'll get there. Surprised? I'm surprised you wore the hat. I was... you know what? I'm still a fan of my teams, right? Even when they lose. Why do you? What does that mean? Yeah, I wasn't. A, I I did not point anyone out. I was just making a comment. I had a DefCon five week of sports, like literally <laughs> prior to yesterday. So, I mean, I I was super defeated on my uh, KSCS call that I do it. I almost thought you said KFC, and I was like, you had a KFC no, call at 8.30? Like, that would have been a really early I'd love to do that every, I mean, every we, Monday. That'd be great. We did get cooked pretty good, so <laughs> there's that. Um, <laughs> um, we, we have a guest this week. Hey, Justin, we haven't had a guest in a while. Justin no. Nunley is going to be Excited. joining us. And, um, yeah, hey, Ryan, do yeah. you know what the polls are? I don't are? think I pro- I don't think it got posted, so. Oh. Yeah. And now we'll just double up. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, so what well, was the poll? Yeah. It's a very good question, Ryan. You were <laughs> you were here last week. Also, I have to we log did back jam. into the Twitter account. We did grape versus strawberry. Oh uh, yeah, jelly. Which, that jam. should be easy. Yeah, it's grape. Grape no, versus it's strawberry. Not. It's obviously grape. It's we're just going to call it. We're, no, we're, no, we're not. We're going to call we're gonna it. Gonna we're going to get a vote on this. We're going to call it. We're it getting was, a vote. Grape is great. No. It was great. No, Ryan, post it. We're getting a vote. Yep, grape or strawberry. Got it. <clears throat> All right. Well, we'll. We'll get that updated while we are doing the podcast. For anyone listening for the first time, just know this is the quad. We always talk about four things. There's four of us. There's four of us. Quad. Music, movies, sports, and a hot take. So that's Yee. what you're getting today. Yee. Let's go to music first. Music. So got a chance to go play a charity show uh, that I do pretty much every year with my buddy David Tolliver and his his duo partner and um it, it's out at tin roof two mm. um don't so it's confused it, yeah the don't it's roofs. there's well there's <laughs> there's so many of them now um all over the world but i i got to play the 64 oh through the amp oh it sounded really good i bet it did i i was very excited um it, that we're going to lose everyone immediately, but there's no, a, there's talk an, about it. There's an amp modeler that Phil Collin from Def Leppard showed me that I just fell in love with because it basically attaches by Bluetooth um, to this speaker that's like probably a cube about it's what, the positive grid one, right? Yes, yeah, the yeah. positive grid. It's the the smallest version they have. It's it's like you can pick it up with one hand. Yeah, um, and it's incredibly loud. But then you can also go uh, aux out through that. And, and it sounds like a giant ant. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. It's just wild. So that was the first time for uh, 
for me doing that and it was it was a lot of fun you gonna bring that into your shows just play through that instead of your your amps man you know what i'm thinking about i i now the next one i want to do i want to run an acoustic through it Mm. because they have options in the back end to do like acoustic setup modeling Mm -hmm. (coughs) excuse me and um run it that way and then I, if I want like a really crunchy electric guitar tone, I can just swap it to one of those. I would have presets. never thought a, a music terminology would have been crunchy. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What about savory? No. Nope. What about no, 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 I'll I'll meet you. So no, quick. no, I just got yeah. See, you you're, can, you're, <laughs> but you can label music as sexy. <laughs> I do the, yes, and you. Which I guess is, you can make guitar tones I sexy guess, also. Yeah. Right? And yes, you yeah. Can. This is my yes, sexy guitar tone. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, that's that, really, that's really exciting. <laughs> R.I.P. Brown Chicken Brown Cow by oh. Trish Atkins. Oh no, <laughs> no. Anyone? Oh, oh, any, oh, oh, oh come on! I, that was an alarm. That was go. that was my backup alarm to get up from <sighs> yesterday. <laughs> come on, bear. Um, yeah, but it, it it was a lot of fun. Um, I I wish I had been more in the moment. Um, because I don't know exactly what happened to my dog, but he got sick that day, I don't know. so I had to put him in the vet and they were basically like, all right, there's something they x-rayed him and they're like, there's something in his intestinal tract. That's the eat a remote. No, I don't know. He... I, don't, I don't think he got into anything. I, I'm, I'm still convinced it was just like a normal, like, Hey, his intestines GI are track. inflamed yeah. because they, they ended up giving him some meds and an IV and they're like, we'll call you. Um, if we're going to need to put him in surgery, which is not something you want to be thinking about while you're going to perform a show. Nope. Uh, but amazing, amazing vet, amazing clinic. Thank you guys very, very much. I'm not going to say where it is just because <laughs> <laughs> I, would love love you. You. I would love to give you a shout out, but uh, Thank I already you to gave all you vets out there in, in clinics. We appreciate oh, you. absolutely. I already, already gave them. Yeah. My dog cost me a thousand dollars this past week. So, uh, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I'll just never forget him when I finally got back. They were like, hey, he's not going to have to have surgery, but he is very high. <laughs> and I Come there's out. like a hallway. She, she was with me, and he he's down the hallway, and I the door opens, and I see him. And instead of like, you know, kind of where he's a floppy German shepherd where, yeah. you know, they run with their paws tucked, his he just – was just like spaced out and like all of his legs were he's like, he like a baby like a deer big, like yeah like a baby giraffe like or like on ice oh my god yeah. he, <laughs> i was like oh buddy come here <laughs> so he's still got a, a a patch on his leg where they they shaved his fur off but he's totally good and the charity event was amazing and everything this weekend that happened after that was, we'll get to that. But um, Young Love and Saturday Nights, let's talk about that. It is out. Make sure you're streaming it. Big ad Thank day. Thank you, guys. Big ad day. Number one. Amazing. Number one most added. Um, and, like, actually 50 stations on the panel were frozen, which means they did not update their playlist at all. So, Could've, huge ad day. Yeah. Huge ad day. Very excited. Um, What'd you... Were you out? I was not. Yeah, Remember, you're done now, right? For a little bit. Just we have that that one in Miami where we were, well, you and I are. Right now, you I was going to say yeah, you and I are on separate <laughs> nights, but no. Uh, did I tell you guys I'm recording some music? No, no. I'm sorry. What? Breaking news. <laughs> yeah. Josh Gleave, artist project. Yes. <laughs> are you really? Yeah. Hell Let's yeah, go. man. Yeah. I, I love uh, that. A little teaser. Do we get a teaser? Nope. No. Oh. Ca- no cable. No cable. <laughs> <clears throat> um yeah, I just uh That's awesome. There was I love that. Yeah, there was a I think you were at this one actually, Ryan. Uh I played at the listening room like a year ago. Yeah. I was there. And it was one of those nights, Chris, and I'm sure you've had them <laughs> way more often than I have, where the sound was perfect, my monitor mix was perfect. I felt like I couldn't miss. I felt like 
I left that stage going, if it felt like this every night, I would do this. You're like, I just nailed that. Yeah. I felt like I had the crowd. I felt like I was, I was communicating the stories correctly. I felt like I was singing my ass off and I was just like, I left, I got back to the green room and I was like, huh? Hmm. Which I've never felt that way ever in my life. Hmm. So that sort of planted the seed. You crushed that night, by the way. Thank you. You're welcome. And uh, yeah, I, it's it's been ruminating in my brain a little bit, and I uh, I've already finished one song, so it's yeah, mix is almost done. Jeff Brown is mixing it. Uh, nice. And then I've already started on song number two, <clears throat> so I finished that. I night. like that you just called him Jeff Brown. Jeff Brown. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. But you said it like in between. Brown. You said it with like the Jeff. actual, probably the way his name should be said. <laughs> yeah. Jeff Brown. It's Braun Brown, but it's somewhere in between. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah. So I'm I'm very excited. Uh, it's kind of nerve wracking a little bit uh, to put yourself out there in this sort of way. Um, I've been a behind the scenes person for so long that like any sort of like you've okay, wait, time out. So anyone that's first of all, always go watch our stream of this. Yeah. Like make sure to go watch the video because you get to see us being idiots. Um, But, and we're again, have a guest this week. What you guys don't know. And for anyone that is new to the podcast or has been around for a long time, like Josh, Dude, you played on stage with a whole bunch of people. It's not like you've never been on stage before. I know, but like, I was I was on, always a, I was always a side guy. I was bass player or second guitar player or whatever. I'm not, I'm not guitar new. player number three. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not <laughs> new to performing by any stretch of the imagination, but it's new to be center stage with the the microphone. You know. Yeah. I get um. That. So it's, but I'm in the, I'm in this era right now of uh, not effort, but just why why not me why not give it a try i would hate to be i would hate to look back in my 40s and go why didn't you just do it why didn't you i'm here for it give it a try why, so why, i'm why is it that you said you're in this era and my brain immediately went to taylor swift and i wanted to fix something <laughs> you just have to shake that off <laughs> <laughs> but yeah thank, thank you nice thank well you played. so well yeah played. so that's so I started the second song on Friday. When does it get released? Uh, that's a good question. Once I get the okay, back right. and the master cool. and, cool. and uh, for the fans, you know, artwork, and then yeah, I, my my target is hopefully this fall for the first song, and then beginning of the next year for song number two, and then I start song number three in November. So, is your goal for an EP? I don't know what my goal is right now. My goal is to record songs that I love and make them to the best of my ability and. Everything that happens after that. Now, are they new songs? Songs you've written for others? Are they? They are new songs. Covers? Okay, new they're, songs. They are new songs. Cool, love yep. that. Yes. Well, they are. They are. They've never been released. They're not, they're not necessarily new songs. One was I wrote a couple of years ago, but they just have not been released. They have not been they, released. Right. Not so they are previously released. Correct. So they are new to everyone. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I like so, it. So that's what I'm. That's what I'm doing. Coming this fall, Josh Gleave. <sighs> get to work. I got to get me a Josh Gleave cut. Come on. Let's Come on, go. bro. <laughs> I'm t- Let's go. I'll get you in my calendar. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, lots of good music news. Uh, also, just want to say, when was the last time we did a What Are You Listening To? Where all four of us were here. Been a month. Yeah, we yeah. have to Easy do month. it today. We're not skipping that. Is so... Nice. Uh, Bear, I'll start with you. Um, I had to look it up to make sure I pronounced the name right, but it's actually Dochi, but it's spelled D-O-E-C-H-I-I. Because, um, of course, I was going to say something crazy. Okay, got it. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I literally had to look up and listen to what, how, that, how it's pronounced, but it's Dochi, and the song is What It Is. And it's actually What It good. Is, yo. She's oh, a newer, up, like, now? obviously... Artist that's coming out and be on the lookout. Don't you? All right. I'm going to go with uh, a curveball um, this week. Uh, J. Cole workout. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that okay. is a curveball. Yeah. I like it, it. It popped up on something I was I was watching that someone had used it as the background music when they posted on 
uh, TikTok. They were doing their workout routine, and I was watching to just try and get tips from something. And I was like, man, I love this song. You're like, this song This song is awesome. And by the way, if you go back and watch that video, it is like jarring because it's just like, oh, man, he hasn't been. Oh, he's been around a really long time. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mine is one of my favorite songs of all time. But I'm also going to ruin it for everyone. Oh, oh man. No. <clears throat> it is uh, These Days by Rascal Flats. But what, <laughs> you're never going to be able to unhear this now. Verse two, he goes, <laughs> Married a rodeo cowboy. Why? <laughs> and the why just drives me nuts. Married a rodeo cowboy. Why? Hang on. It's not, it, that's not what he says. Yeah, it is. I know, I know the why that it's you're talking about. Wow. I thought it was why. Uh uh-uh. uh. You on. sure? I, I'm going to look this up right now. We can't, we can't yeah. Pull, yeah, we can't yeah. listen to it. I, I'm going to look this up right now. While anyway, it, ruin, it doesn't ruin it for me, but. I it, think it says why. I was going to ask you why, but. Why? 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 Because then it followed. That ain't the girl I knew. Why? That ain't the girl I knew. Yep. You know what? I'm never going to listen to that song now. The same. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks to you. Yep. Yes. Every time you hear it, think of me. That's what you're doing these days. <laughs> go, go ahead, Ryan. It almost sounds like uh, um, Daniel okay. Craig from uh, Why. I am I am wrong. Yeah, it's why. I, I this why? my my entire <laughs> life until this very moment. You're I thought today it said years old. Wow, I was today years old when I found out that he's not going. Why? I thought no. I always knew it was why because it makes sense for the rest of the line. Yeah, it's I, why. Yep. I, <laughs> We're going to listen to it after this. I'm an idiot. Okay. I'm, I'm, now I have to go listen to all of Rascal Flatts catalog again. Thanks. God, what a great day that would be. <laughs> the multiple days. So. <laughs> These days. Nailed it. I'm kind of in my emo phase right now. You know, I'm feeling a little in touch with my feelings. So secondhand serenades fall for you. It's oh, my song gosh. this week. Because tonight will be the night. I will fall you just did that because wanna, we were saying, uh, you were saying over that. Again. I want to say it so bad. Cause tonight. I feel like you have to do that anytime. That I will fall for you over again. Yep. Nailed it. There Y'all it are making me change Ooh. my mind on this podcast. Ooh. We have what? to admit, oh, we oh, have oh, to admit him. Oh. We have a guest. Yeah, hang on. We have, we a, have guest. a guest. You got it? Yeah. Got yeah. It. Why? Why? Just. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? I can't believe I did not know that. Click it. There it is. Yep. Except. There we go. Yes. <laughs> it's just this danger. <laughs> Dangerous. There he we is. Got hey. Oh, <laughs> Ladies How's and gentlemen. The sound? I don't, you you y'all sound don't have any echo. No, you sound fantastic. Uh from You sound better, Chris. No, you stop it. <laughs> um evidently the guy that is uh is my twin. Uh people say we look alike, we could be brothers. Um He's got a better beard than you. He's he's got a great beard. Yeah, he's a, also a very <laughs> good guy, a lot funnier than me. But Mr. Justin Nunley, welcome. Hey. Back. Hey. Thank you. Thanks for having me on. Thanks for waking me up this morning. Oh, hey, you're you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> I have a really important question. Is this a Silverado? Is this a what are we in right now? No, no, dude, I'm not driving no F- Chevy. F one fifty. What are we What are we in right no. now? Yeah. It's a so 2023 F-150 Platinum. Got to get that Platinum. Can't hide no. money, baby. Wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. Can't hide money. Wow. All right. And this is where this is off to a bad start. I believe it's we had the, the, the Silverado versus uh, versus F-150 debate long ago on this podcast. So We we did. Um, and so my thing that I can kind of skirt that argument is I've owned – both. I've had a Silverado as well as an F-150. My F-150 was actually my first truck that I ever had. Um, and it was basically like my old HVAC boss uh, was getting a new truck from a job we were working on. And so he was like, hey, man, I, I'm I'm getting rid of this one. Uh, would you have any interest in, in buying it? And I'm like, yeah, but I'm broke. So... I, I worked for free for like two weeks for him on this HVAC church unit <laughs> chiller job, and he gave me the gave me the truck. Yes. See, I thought this I thought that was going to be a feel good story for a minute. Like this dude knows I'm struggling. He's just going to give me a truck. And he's like, "Do you want to buy it?" 
Like you work for free. I know you're struggling. You already hungry, but you're gonna work for free for this truck. I mean, to be fair, to be, to fair. be fair, yeah. Uh, he he gave me like a truck for two weeks of work that was worth way more than that. I, st- I still have it. You can't be that. No. So my son asked me yesterday, my youngest, the uh, ten year old. He said, uh, "You're you're." He said, how much do vehicles cost? And I said, well, it depends on the vehicle, right? So I thought he was going to ask me how much the one we was currently in cost. But no, he's a, he's a thinker. And he said, how much did your first vehicle cost? I was like, I said, I didn't pay for it, but it was like five, $600. Like, he's like, what did you drive? <laughs> like, it, was a it was a 1984 Nissan Datsun with a, with a Briggs and Stratton chainsaw motor pretty there much it in it. It was bad. <laughs> That's incredible. All right, yeah. I, Back uh, on topic. yeah. <laughs> well, well, we're going we're going to sports because that's why I was I was waiting until uh, Justin got here. So go ahead and hit the. Did the Cowboys win what? last night? No. Oh, right out of the gate. <laughs> I only asked. Be- right I out of only the gate. asked because I wasn't watching. I I have no clue. I I was asleep. No, it's fine, um, man. It's asleep. totally fine. Uh, the 49ers beat them like I beat you in fantasy football. Oh, <laughs> oh! So it was a blowout. It was yeah. bad. It was bad. What was the score? Uh, ten to, a lot to a little. 40, 42 to ten. Forty two so, yeah. to ten. Yeah. You no, know, they they dacked through three picks. The defense like couldn't get started. Um there was like a touchdown in the second quarter and a field goal for Dallas in the third quarter, and that was it. Remember when I said San Francisco was the best team in the league when the season started? Oh, first of all, you've been saying the Miami Dolphins are going to the Super Bowl too, so calm yeah, down. It's gonna over be Dolphins there. and and Niners, baby. No, it's not. Let's go. Get out of here. Have- have I ever told you about my connection with Dak Prescott? No. So me and Dak Prescott used How to work we, out Wait, together. wait, time out. How did we sit together for an entire night in Nashville and that never came up? I have no clue. I'd never thought about it until now when you said Dak. Um, so when I when so we all know now that I'm active duty military, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Thank you for your service. And when I was thank you. When I was stationed in Shreveport, um, we lived in this little town called um, Halton, right? Yeah. Which is where Dak, Dak played high school ball. Yeah. Well, I would go to the 24 hour, you no, know, yeah, it was 24 hour fitness or one of those chains, right? Uh, anytime fitness is what it was. Anytime. Right. Every morning, every morning at like 5 30. And uh, Dak was in there. It's when he was still in high school. So we would wind up, you know, spotting each other and working out sometimes together. And of course, he probably has no clue who I am now, but. I thought it was really cool because I'd always give him shit. I'm like, why don't you go to a real college like Alabama instead of Mississippi State? And he's like, oh, I'm not good enough for Alabama. But <laughs> obviously he was. You know? Obviously he was, yeah. Um, good enough to beat Alabama. My right, God. Yeah. So I, I'm a Longhorns fan and a Cowboys fan. It was a tough weekend for me. It, it was, was, y'all. It was a, <laughs> It was a very tough I, weekend. I already knew. I already knew about the Longhorns, and I wasn't going to bring that up. Uh, I legitimately had no clue about the Cowboys. Well, yeah, but you know what? You know what hurts worse? What hurts the most? <laughs> Jesus. What hurts? There the it is. Worst? <laughs> Continuing with the theme of the day. I mean, technically, oh, Daddy he, Gary. He's he's hung out with Gary probably just as much as he's been around anybody else. Um, wow. <laughs> yeah, they they just pointed out to me like you know how you you like misremember lyrics or you like you thought it was one thing but it was something else. Mm-hmm. I I was so confident um, right before you jumped on the podcast. I was talking to Josh and he brought up the song "These Days" uh, by mm-hmm. Flats and he goes, "Yeah, the lyric is married a rodeo cowboy." Why? Why? And I was like, <laughs> "It's wow. It's not why. It's wow." And I'm like. A thousand percent confident. Like you would, you would have given me all the cash in your wallet. In that oh moment. my god! <laughs> it's not wow. No. It's why. It's why. Why? But my entire <laughs> my entire life, I was today years old when I figured out that it was it was not uh, wow in that song. I would have been arguing right there with you because I would have thought it was wow too. See, thank you. Mary the rodeo cowboy. Wow. Yeah. Why? I it's thought why. it was wow. It's why. <laughs> why? Huh? Even like. <laughs> Why? That was like, are we the, the are we in a simulation? Is this a Mandela effect thing? Did he actually say wow, and then yeah. it just changed at some point? I don't know. Oh man, I'm going to ask Gary about this. Why? 
Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. wow. Did you sing it like that? Gary's, <laughs> Gary's funny, though. If I, if I text to Gary or call Gary right now, like, he won't answer the phone. You can guarantee there's three things guaranteed in life. You know, death, taxes, and Gary Lavox is not answering his phone. But he will call you back on a random Tuesday at, like, 3 a.m. Be like, hey, Nunley, what you doing? Like, I'm sleeping, dog. Like, what I'm normal asleep. people do. What do, you, what do you mean, what am I doing? He's, Much like when I called psycho. you <laughs> this yeah. morning. You're like... I can tell you were still asleep. Yeah, but asleep. that was a respectable time. <laughs> Gary's like 3, 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. Absolute psycho, crazy ex-girlfriend behavior is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, by the way, who are, your, who are your sports teams? Obviously, Alabama. Roll Tide, baby. I know. I know you're excited. I give my entire heart to the Tide. I ain't got nobody else. No, I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> <it>. uh, <laughs> The Braves, which was a, a bad weekend for me, too. Oh, yeah. Dude. Yeah. See, so they play again tonight, so hopefully yeah. hopefully we'll, we'll – Dude, they're such a heartbreak team. It, it's horrible. Like, I'm I'm already bracing myself to be the best team in baseball all year and then get, you know, yeeted out of the playoffs in the first round. <laughs> no, well, you know – I was going to say, know how that feels. you know who knows how that feels is uh, Ryan down here on the end who yeah. works for – your Tampa Bay Rays. Go ahead. You want to uh, talk about that? A broadcaster, my friend, for the Rays. And, uh, you know, had the best record in baseball most of the year. And then the Braves and the Rays were kind of flip-flopping. And, uh, and yeah, getting swept out of the playoffs by scoring one run in 18 innings is not the way to do it. So, uh, I wish you guys well, my friend, because that was the first home shutout for the Braves this season. So, I don't anticipate they will get shut out again in the series. It's ridiculous. Well, you know, and Albies, he, I was saying it when he first came up, I said, lay a bunt down, score with the run, put Austin Riley in scoring position. You've got to run on the board and you got to run her in scoring position. They didn't do that. He hit into a double play. I was so pissed. If you like if to you partake, watch the game, you by know. the way, Justin, if you like to partake, both the Dodgers and the Braves are now underdogs. So plus money if you want to gamble for them to win their series. Just saying, just a, a, a sneaky little parlay for two teams. Baby, that I'm throwing the, the house at it. Come on. <laughs> I'm throwing the house. Chris was going to be pissed. You should not have told yeah, her oh, to come for you. Hell no. Hey, hey, I've met her. She is a very sweet lady, but I don't want her mad at me. Don't you do this. Uh, mad at me, but I'll hide. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm telling you, I'm telling her to come for y'all when I lose no. money. No. Oh, man. All right. And so, it, as always, it is 1-800-BETS-OFF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the number. Yeah, we, we don't want anybody getting in trouble while they're gambling. So, um, do you have an NFL team? Um, no, because you know me and Chris talked about this when I when I grew up. You know the the Oilers were still in Houston, so we didn't have the Titans, and there wasn't really any team that was really close to where I grew up. I grew up in North Alabama, so it was either you know the Falcons, the Saints, or what everybody else was doing was the Cowboys. So when I was a kid, you know, I, of course, I pulled for America's team because my grandmother lived near Dallas. Um, but as I've gotten older, like, I, I just I don't watch the NFL. Like, I love college football. Gotcha. You're one of the Yeah, that's his go-to. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, and, I mean, it makes sense because, you know, recency bias and being a Bama fan. What well, now, okay, so I'm not a bandwagon. Let me go ahead and throw that out there, too. <laughs> Right, because I it would be so that. easy. No, but a lot of people do. It would be so easy, you know, to for everybody to be like, oh, he's a bandwagon. I'm not. So before Alabama even won their first national championship in 2009, you know, in the recent era, um, I named my firstborn Bryant, okay? I've got an Alabama tattoo on the back of my cap. Like, it, it runs deep. I tried to name my second kid Saban, and Crystal said, are you crazy? No, we're not doing that. So she named him after Blake Shelton. Like I think she's Shut crazy. Up. Same same thing, right? Really. Shut up. Are you being serious? She said she said Blake, and I said, I said, who are we name this kid after? And then I didn't find out until he's about two. She's like, oh, Blake Shelton. I love him. Well, come every, on now. Everybody loves him. But. I believe there was a Blake Sims who was the quarterback at Alabama. So you could technically be like, hey, Blake. You know. It was it, it, funny. Funny enough, is Blake Sims was the quarterback when Blake was born. There you go. So, there so, you go. You know, All right, now that's. I that's just changed the story. Yeah, that, no, that, that's your out from now on. When somebody's like, "Was it?" Blake yeah, but Joe? you can't name your kid. You can't name your kid after a sports player that never won a Heisman or anything. You know. 
Like they, they just they they set him up for a life of mediocrity. Not Sam Blake, Sam Blake. If you if you hear this, you want to be <laughs> oh. I'm just saying, like you didn't win the Heisman, dog. It's, uh, Justin Danger Nunley on Twitter yeah. and uh, TikTok and <laughs> Danger Zone for sure. Yeah, are we still calling it Twitter? Yeah. Oh, X, is it X or yeah, whatever it is? Yeah, I don't know. I, we have to like I, I've wondered. By the way, do you use it? it? Do you use it? No. I'd no, I well, I do use it for sports uh, news. It's really good to get your sports news quick. Yeah. But no, no. I just like to see what's trending. Like when something happens, I like to see what everyone, all the mad. When was the last time you posted on X? I always, I'm on it. I'm on it. I yeah, always. Yesterday. Did you really? Yeah. What, oh, yeah. Did, you, what did you say, Josh? Oh, I, I don't remember. Well, I, po- I post, I, on, I, I post on it all the time. Yeah. Okay. I'm a, I'm a frequent X user. I don't post. I just retweet the quad stuff. <laughs> That's Meanwhile. funny that the woman, the woman on the set, is like, <laughs> I want to be nosy and see what everybody else is talking about. Well, you know? it's usually <laughs> Justin. Justin, I'm happy to report that your most recent tweet or post or whatever we're calling it now was a retweet on May 14th. So very active you are, my friend. <laughs> what What did I retweet? It Lord was have mercy. something at NASCAR. You were at a, a NASCAR event. It looks like. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I'm good. Hey. I'm safe. Yeah, yeah I'm good. I think, good. I, You're I, think I scrubbed everything. Like, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hey, so I, I, I ran across this last night, and maybe it was because I, I said your name out loud and my phone heard me. Yeah. What? Who was it that, that you were, like, coming for in the comments? Cooper Allen. What happened? So it was a joke. It was a joke. He... You know, he's got that song, um, the next SOB that says this ain't country, I'm going to lose my shit. That was his song, right? Yeah. So he was at Country Thunder down in Bristol um, performing on Saturday. So I seen that Bristol, you know, I'm a Bristol ambassador, right? So I usually yeah. see all their stuff. So uh, I seen that they, you know, put a post up about him on stage. It was like Cooper Allen rocked it last night. And I just commented, I thought this was a country concert. Right. And just left it at that. Yeah. Playing into his the next SOB right. that says it's a country. And then I went back the next morning, yesterday morning, and I looked and hey, Cooper Allen, he gone. I couldn't find him anywhere. He blocked me. I was like, Are you kidding me right now? I was like, Oh, I'm I'm making a video and calling them out. So you know Chris Rudiger? Yes. Yeah. That, that runs 615. Yeah. So I texted him after I did the video. I, I copy linked it and I sent it to him and I said, hey, make sure you let Cooper know I'm joking. Like I don't hate him or anything, but it's funny. And he's like, oh, dude, this is hilarious. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, people so, see. That's he still hadn't unblocked me. You know, man, he's just trying not to feed the trolls. That's the, why he blocked The moral you. of the story is <laughs> don't block Justin because he'll make content out of it up for you. So. He will. That's the moral of the story. He will. Don't block Justin. Hey, never. Especially never. if I'm just joking. <laughs> no, if I'm coming at you, like, I ain't even going to talk about it. And and I do the same thing he does. If I think somebody's trolling me, I just block them and move on. Yeah. You know? Never, never bring right. a musician to a comedian fight. Don't do that. Oh yeah, I'm wait. I'm waiting for that response, dude. I'm ready to eat him live. I want him to respond to that video. Locked and loaded. So bad. That's it's amazing. best if he just keeps me blocked and leaves it alone. <laughs> well, we'll be uh, on the lookout for that. By the way, if you guys do not uh, go follow him, go follow him. There's um, no doubt you've seen one of his videos. Yeah, Listen. Not Cooper. Not Cooper, no, but no, Justin no, no. Danger Nunley. <laughs> no. If you like real country, don't follow Cooper Allen. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're going to drag me into this. He's going to be like, did you hear what he said? It's going to get aggregated from the should, quad. With should, yeah. should we get Cooper on next week? Or? <laughs> <laughs> do it. Let's do, it. Let's do a gonna, Biggie Tupac battle. Yeah, I was going to say, we, we sit you guys down to like have the, the talk. It's like, hey, look, guys. We, just, we need. It, we need to bury this. I think it's more like celebrity death match. Like, just put him in the ring. Yeah! Let's go. Well, that or you just so, have like <laughs> unknowingly one of the people involved is sitting there, like, yeah, we should put this to the side as they're like rapidly posting content about the other person. Um, <laughs> no, I, I'll ask you one more question and then uh, it, we'll we'll let you get going, man. Because I I know okay. I did wake you up this morning. <laughs> no, you're good. Um. What is your favorite movie of all time? Ooh. Oh, dude, that's tough because I love mo- Reservoir Dogs. Ooh. Reservoir oh, Dogs is okay. one of my favorites, right? I love Reservoir Dogs. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, The Departed. 
Right. That's a great one. The Departed, absolute banger. That is an all star cast. It's it's yeah. it's a sleeper too because not a lot of people talk about it. But there is so many stars in that movie, um, and of course, Forrest Gump. You, you got to love <laughs> Forrest yes. Gump. Yes. Uh, yes. Um, see, is. that's Josh's favorite actor of all time. So. <clears throat> I've been arguing yep. for the last 20 years that Tom Hanks is the greatest actor of all time. And you have to put Tom's best 10 movies against any other actor's best 10 movies. Denzel Washington Harrison would Ford. like a word with the following caveats. Uh, Harrison Ford as Han Solo counts as one movie. It's not multiple <laughs> no, movies in the on. same role. Him as Indiana Jones counts as one movie. That's two yeah. movies he's been in. And Denzel Washington as a dirty cop counts as one movie. Hey, that's not oh, fair. no, you can't do that. Yes, you can. Yeah, training day. Training day is an absolute Tra- classic. It, training right. day is the number one. That is the one. And then the rest of them yeah. are Man on not Fire, John Q. Those are great Remember movies. Remember the Titans? Sure. Absolutely. That's four. I would, I would argue you to say that Leonardo DiCaprio is. Oh, is, my is, God. Is, oh, geez. There it is. Listen, no. if, if, you're, if, you're com- if you're comparing Tom Hanks and Leo, um, I, I, all I'm gonna say is you've got to you've got to compare what Stephen Gilbert great to Forrest Gump. Who was the better actor there? Yep, Tom Hanks, no question. No. Oh uh, come on. Uh, I don't no, think Haley's even you. seen e- what Stephen oh, yeah, Gilbert great. Yeah, no, probably Leo, not. Probably not. Leo is by far the best, and that was my argument. So thank you, Justin Nunley for that. I needed that. I, I hated that I agreed with her unknowingly <laughs> yeah. about something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I love what it. The hell? All right. Well, um, dude, re- go ahead. Yeah, real quick, before before we, we let you go, what was the moment when you saw all of this social stuff go crazy? Like, do you remember the exact moment when you were like, wow, this is a thing now? No, because I, I I had my account got banned, right? Long story short, my account got banned. I had a backup account that had 3,000 followers on it, and it lit a fire under me, and I started posting like a madman. And 30 days later, I had 3 million followers. So I went wow. from, I went from you know, having an account with 600,000 followers to, you know, ba- essentially zero, and then I 3 million 30 days later. So it was, I mean, the moment was when, when my account, Oh yeah, man! Don't tell me I, I'm not going to do something because I'm going to prove you wrong every time. Sure. So it's, it's just one of those things where people expect to see you at the end of the video. <laughs> like Liz. whenever, right. whenever I watch something, I'm like, okay, wait, please tell me this is a Justin Nunley video because there ain't no way this just came across my feed on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely wild stuff. People send me the. You should see my for you page at this point. It is a train wreck. <laughs> oh, I can always tell because I guess it, it also the algorithm sort of accumulates what everybody else that you follow watches as well. Mm-hmm. Some of my friends think the dumbest stuff is funny, and it. It's, <laughs> I can tell when someone's been up all night, mm-hmm. like scrolling through things because stuff will stop start popping up, and I'm like. Like who's watching this? Who's watching why that? It, why is this here? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> well, love it, buddy. Dude, <laughs> big fan. Uh, it was awesome hanging with Likewise. you. Likewise, and uh, love you. Thank you for being on. And love you, bro. You're, you're doing great in our fantasy league. So whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's doing great. Yeah, I mean, nobody's beating Chris. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, yes, they have. Yes, Unfortunately. Oh, yes, they have. Unfortunately. Oh, yes, they have. And there's yeah. only one undefeated that, team left. That happened this week. Let's go. You played no Nate way. Smith, who got, what, 50 points? Nate Smith is not even paying attention, Ryan, so I, you I, can't be John, proud of your It was your John win. Stone who had three players on oh. by, but still, undefeated. <laughs> How? With, with a score of 128.32 to 102.44, Josh can, Gleaves, Calvin Ridley's bookie, beat the battering lambs. I Let's can, go. I can tell you exactly why, because Mahomes only had two touchdowns in that game. McCaffrey had a touchdown, but a fumble against Dallas, but they dog walked my team and so the cowboys were minus three uh in in my setup and for the very first time ever my tight end did well but no one else really i've got a bone to pick with every single one of y'all on that stage except for chris whoa Uh i was i was auto drafting how did y'all let him draft that team have y'all seen his team? How did y'all let that happen? There's only one undefeated team left, though, and it's not his. Hey, Ryan, you know, uh, uh, do you want to go look at points for and points <laughs> yeah, against? Just saying. Stand- I would I love, to, I would love to see you at the end. Wins and losses. I scored the most points this this week. Yep. Again. That's one. 
Well, that's the second <laughs> week I've done that. Just, just wait, just wait. I've, I've dethroned, I've dethroned Chris. Ryan beat me by one point five yep. points. Yep. When's like, when? Just so here's dubs here's dubs. the thing. You did it on my worst week, Josh. I, I hope that this is how this goes. Dubs a dub, and that y'all keep talking this smack <laughs> because when we get to the end of the season is when it matters. Dubs a dub. I beat you on your worst. I week. don't understand how you play. You everybody plays their best game when they play me in fantasy. It's always been like that. You scored one hundred and eighty four points the week we played. <laughs> like, bro, I can't keep up with that. No, uh, it's, it's impossible. But uh, yeah, we're we're happy to have you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thanks for having me. And also, then rubbing in the uh, the loss. Justin, I challenge you to a Chevy Silverado versus Ford F one fifty duel. So game on. What, oh, is, what does that mean? Let's go. Yeah, I don't know. What that is. I don't know. I don't. I, I, it's a twenty. Mine's a twenty sixteen. But we'll see what happens. Are we Are we going for pink slips? What's going on here? I don't know. Justin, well, I, we'll, I play. We'll you get Rich Christian saying we'll. I will run them. I love it. Let's go. I'm a two wheel drive though, so be be gentle. <laughs> I think you just lost. Hey, I've got a supercharger put on mine. Oh, darn it. Come on, let's go. Yeah. I love it, buddy. This is great because I play Josh next week. I play you, Justin, the following week, and then it's CY. Here we You're go. Let's go. Let's go. You're going down. Some, Am I? We'll see about some, that. That's a murder. Three row. losses in a row. Three losses in a row. All right. I, don't think so. I believe in you, fellas. Step up. We got to do this. We got to beat her three weeks in a row. <laughs> Done. Done. No. Why is it team up against Haley? Anyone want to do some off-season trades? What do you yeah. want to do? Like, <laughs> we'll just, we'll just, uh... All of a sudden, the Cowboys defense just starts moving around teams. <laughs> yeah. Bro, my players are dropping like flies with ACLs. I don't know if y'all have noticed this. Like, I've had to drop tons. I've, I've had to drop, I think, two or three players now because of knee injuries. Yep. I, yeah, I noticed when we lost Diggs. So, but yeah. I would like to congratulate you, Justin, on your win over Monsell, who is editing this podcast video this he week. Is. So, uh, congratulations on your victory. You are now going to move to three and two. So, in the mix, buddy, in the mix. Good job. You suck, Monsell. Have fun <laughs> editing that out. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Dude. All right, buddy. Dude, he thank barely you. got 100 points. I know. Barely, I got 102. Yeah, so, I know this. All right. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I'm about to have 160 something. Yeah, we'll see about that. We're not winner. All right, buddy. All right, dude. Thank you again for joining y'all the podcast. Have a good one. Thanks for having me on. If y'all need anything, let me know. Yep. All right. All right. Bye. See you, bro. Stay classy. Look at my hand. <laughs> Look. <laughs> it's like there's no like proper way to exit. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> nice callus is right there on the hand. Yeah. He's just like love Ugh. it. I love it. I love it. Um. Does that mean it's time to play good or not good? Yes, it is. Yes, it we, is. It is time to play good or not good. It's time for everybody's favorite game, good or not good, as we take a look at the NFL standings and examine who is, in fact, good or not good. Let's start with the AFC East. No, we're not going to start there. We're going to start in the AFC North because it's a, it's just a hodgepodge of teams You're in the, the AFC North. You're the one starting it. Why did you just In the AFC North. Because he, he, he didn't want to start with the The Dolphins. division leading. Pittsburgh Steelers at three and two off a victory over the Baltimore Ravens. Good or not good? Not good. Why? Not good. I, they don't. They haven't been able to stay steady with it. Again, they beat the Ravens. I want to see something more from them. I want to okay. see them beat a team. If it was great or not good, I would agree with you. But they are good, and they are consistently a five hundred and above team. I want to see them play a real team. Win a real team. Tomlin has he, Tomlin went eight and nine thing. with with Duck Hodges. So I think yeah, they're I think Duck they're Hodges. Yeah, I think they're good. I think TJ Watt is awesome. We'll see that that whole division. I it's don't weird. know. It's a I mess. Don't know. It's a mess yeah. this year. That, that, that division, division is a mess. I mean, you've got the Steelers at three and two, tied. Well, technically leading now the Ravens, and then the Bengals finally looked a little bit like the Bengals yesterday. But it was against the Cardinals, Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase. They're two and three, but they've got a brutal schedule coming up. So who knows? There, there is the weirdest game of like so and so beat so and so, but that team beat so and so, and that team beat this team. Like weird. Yeah, it's weird. It's, it's weird. All right, good or not good? Leading the AFC South, coming off a victory over the Buffalo Bills Here in London, go. the Jacksonville Jaguars at three and two. Good or not good? <clears throat> Not good. Not good. Not good. I kind of think they're good. Dude, no one is talking about the fact that Trevor Lawrence 
does not look like what we expected him to look no. like. I drafted him in fantasy and I sat him this week. Yeah. He, he has he, been a disappointment on a fantasy level. And, and honestly, like, you know, I'm sure that there's other things going into play there. Like, obviously, they were in Europe. Well, and, they, and, um, and the Jaguars were able to stay there for a whole week. Buffalo had to obviously come in. They did yeah. just get their left tackle back this game, so that mattered That's a little gonna bit. That's going to help, yeah. But, no, not good. Not going to win their division. Not, not good. Oh, so who's going to win that division? Because right now... It's Colts are three and two, but Anthony Richardson's out at least four weeks. And then Texans are two and three, and they lost. Titans are two and three, and they're kind of stinky. <clears throat> I feel I like the Titan. I, f- I feel like the Titans will start to come back now that they're starting to utilize Derrick Henry, Hopk- um, Derrick Henry, and Hopkins more. So I feel like an end of the season comeback from the Titans. Right. Have you seen Ryan Tannehill? Yeah, it's not very good. Let's not, let's not pick on people. <coughs> I'm, not, I'm not picking. All right. Just, let's I move, asked a question. Let's move to the yeah. NFC. <laughs> in second place in the NFC, currently sitting at three and two, are the Dallas Cowboys. Good or not good? Chris? They are good. They are not great. And they are inconsistent. And unfortunately, what we just talked about with Justin Nunley <clears throat> injuries are are a problem that have hampered us the past several weeks. Um, you know, again, I go to the fact that th- there's nothing to be said about San Francisco. They beat the crap out they're, of the Cowboys. And they, they're, they're they are great. the best team, head they, and shoulders in the league, right? They now. beat the crap out of the Cowboys. Uh, well, would you say that, or would you say it's the Eagles? I think it's San Francisco. I think San Francisco. Yeah, I mean, they've won they've bit. won 15 consecutive regular season games. Brock Purdy's 10 and 0. As a regular season starter, like they're they're just well, they're so dominant on both okay. sides. Wait, 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 time out. <laughs> I, I hate the way that you just phrased that because it's not Brock Purdy. Brock he's, Purdy's been incredible. He has. He should he should be in the MVP conversation. No, oh no, yes, no, Brock no. Purdy is doing fantastic. 100%. No, he is, he is. By the way, he is great. He is the guy that has stepped into this system and won every single game he started. Like and, and he's he is a great player. I'm not arguing that. Boys, accuracy. I mean he he he's a game manager for this team. Four touchdowns. He's a game pitch. manager. You just he's said a, it. He's a he's a fantastic, fantastic Boys, game manager. Accuracy more weapons than any other team. Yes. An incredible and defense. It. Just uh, <laughs> hey great. sorry I know you guys were awesome last year. Let's give you Christian McCaffrey. He's great. Okay. Okay, let me put it this way. Magically was, doesn't get injured yeah. he was, when he's now, playing with the... Fr- now. But he was that story. He was the last one drafted Mr. Relevant. in the draft, right? No, it, yes. We, okay, but guess ah. what? And guess who we've had? Justin Fields. And guess what? He looks nothing like Brock Purdy. I, I agree. A lot of quarterbacks don't look I, like Brock Purdy for I, the record. I understand is, all of that. Is Brock Purdy a just, product of the system? Just Alex Smith. We don't know. We don't have enough information. He's only in his second year. But it, and did, he still looks this good. I'll after coming off his of, Trevor uh, Lawrence is in his what third year? Third year. Off after the surgery too that they thought was going to put him out this season. If you replace Brock Purdy with any other quarterback in the league, how good is that team? No other. Let QB. me let me put Justin Fields in that uh, position. It still ain't going to be. Sh- I don't know. Justin Fields is not as accurate as Brock Purdy. Okay, can we move on before we like, right. to completely devolve out of this? All right. In the <laughs> NFC South, currently leading that division, having coming off a bye, is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at 3-1. and one. Good or not good for Baker Mayfield's Bucks? I think they're lucky right now. I think they're good, and I think Baker Mayfield is there and signs an extension. Didn't you say this to me? I think you said to me the other day he's going to be there for like five he's years. He's going to be there for like four or five That's years. That's crazy. Yeah. I agree that Baker will be there for f- four or five years. Uh, he'll sign an extension. I do not have them winning their division. Really? Oh, so but do, do you think they're Saints? good, though? Saints. I think they're good. Yeah. I think they're good, not great. I still Well, the I, Saints have an easier back half of the season. And the Saints play in domes and, the entire oh, season. Yeah. What What is going on with the Saints, by the way? Why do we have this Taysom Hill thing? He <laughs> like, loves Taysom either, Hill. Either let him play quarterback or like I I cannot stand when they're like oh we're just gonna bring Taysom Hill in on this play uh, and then he goes right back out. Well, it, change of pace, you know. You gotta you gotta account for the running. You gotta. Account I understand for the five that, yards but they passing. did one the other. Day. 
Five yards passing. They had one the other day that I was watching. I'm just like, what are y'all doing? They brought him in and like lined him up outside, like almost like tight end position, and then did not go to him. <laughs> like, why is he? Got to keep him involved, man. End of What's end of the bench like? rotations. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I mean, I'm sure that's what they're going for, uh, Saints fans out there that are like cursing at me. That it's to keep everyone guessing. I understand that, but uh, I mean, maybe maybe they're maybe they're geniuses, and maybe you know, like how San Francisco ran out of quarterbacks last year. <laughs> the New Orleans Saints always have Taysom Hill as a <laughs> they as, a, as a tight end slash running they back beat, slash quarterback. They beat the Patriots, who are the worst team in the league. So I, I wouldn't be quick to. Uh, the Patriots are not the worst team in the league. They're really bad. They're really, really bad. actually. Yeah. They're really bad. They're this year. really bad. <clears throat> you wouldn't say the Broncos aren't the worst team in the league. I, I think the Pats are worse than the Broncos. I, I would argue the Patriots would be better with uh, Mac Jones not starting. Oh, you want Bailey Zappi as their quarterback? <laughs> or I literally mean, anyone? Did you not see him run in that just like insane touchdown? I know it's one touchdown, but like that he at least gave him a spark. I think Mac Jones is unplayable at this point. I, I just don't think the I think the team's lost faith in him. And once Belichick like set him down, it's two that, games in a row. So now I just yeah. I think Zappi I don't gets think Mac start. Jones or Bailey Zappi is the problem. I just think their offensive line is terrible. Their defense is atrocious. Like they don't have any playmakers on offense. Like <laughs> New England's so bad. Like can, name me name me one receiver on New England. I can't. I could not. Maybe I'm, Devontae Parker. I can name you. Kendrick I'm Horn. sorry, uh, Boston fans, for my friend down here at the end of uh I hate the Celtics. Table. I hate the Patriots. Mike Jacecki, Kendrick Bourne, <laughs> Devontae Parker. What do you, you want me to keep going? That was really good, actually. But any of those guys relevant? No. <laughs> Just, wasn't Jacecki on the Dolphins last year? Jacecki. Ezekiel right. Elliott. Last but not least, good or not good? Not Currently good. Currently sitting not in good. second not good. place. Not in the good. Eastern Conference of the Quad Fantasy League, monstrosity oh. of the Midway. Oh yeah, not, good. Oh, not good. Three and two. Not good. Good, good not or trash. not good? Trash. Not good. Did not you good. say three and two? You're gonna. You're not about good. to improve to three and two with a win. We have one win. No, no. Monstrosity no, no, no. of the Midway. Your, your, team, fantasy, your fantasy football team. team. Oh, you're you. Saying, I not you're... good. <laughs> you. You. Good or not good? Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. I thought you were just talking about the Bears. Nobody believes in you. Nobody believes in you. We know the Bears aren't good. Come on. The only reason we won Thursday Night Football was because Mike Ditka died that day. R.I.P. Mike Ditka. We're all going to miss you. You were, you were It was not legend. Mike Ditka who died. <laughs> it was Dick Buckus. Dick Buckus. <laughs> you killed Mike Ditka. That is okay. the biggest of fines. I got it. The biggest yeah. of fines. <laughs> we can't. I know. I got it. I got it. Please mute that. Yep, I got it. Oh, why did I say Mike Ditka? I Dick know, Buckus. So oh, Dick so Buckus cool. died. That you oh, were a legend. God. Why did I say? <laughs> just, oh, Haley's Dicka. just in. The, she's pulling a. Um, <laughs> a Dan Levitard oh, and just unaliving people. You oh. offed Mike Ditka. What did he do to deserve that? He <laughs> didn't do this anything to you. Did you, you guys try to, this is what happens. You guys are going to try to throw me off and throwing my fantasy team out there. We oh. only won Thursday night football. We're not going to win another game. Oh. Just think, so you know. I think you win another game. I think you end up screwing up the, your own draft accidentally. All right. So that but, was. Uh, but uh, Haley's team. We'll show up and put up big, big points against teams that don't matter and then completely crap the bed against the teams that do matter. And this is what she does every year. I just want to shout out, you know, who's not good in either one of these teams, but the Jets beat the Broncos. Thank you. The Broncos are atrocious. <laughs> Terrible. They have the worst run defense in the league. I will be at the game on Thursday. Chiefs versus Broncos. Oh, there at you go. Arrowhead. I will Let's watch go. Isaiah Pacheco run for 280 yards. And yeah. seven yeah. touchdowns. Let's go. Hit the <laughs> oh, my God. Don't. Don't. <laughs> Don't do that. Let's go. By the way, Josh, yes. it is NBA preseason, buddy. Yes, we is. have reached the start of the NBA season. What are you excited for this year? I'm excited for uh, the 76ers to trade James Harden to the Miami Heat for Jimmy Butler. I really don't know. It's that. not going to happen. I, I want to see it. I want to see it. Uh, what am I excited for? I'm excited. The East is stacked with three teams at the top. Uh, the Boston Celtics, the 76ers, and the Bucks. I'm excited to see about... 200,000 Dame and Giannis pick and rolls. Yeah, it's going to happen a lot. Uh, I'm excited to go to another Heat game. That's what I'm excited for. I'm excited for. for what the Lakers have going on. I'm excited for the Suns this year. I'm excited to see Chris Paul and the Warriors, which I think is going to be a really interesting... It, it, so, it, here, here's my thing. What are you excited for about the Lakers? I like their depth, I like their shooting, and I like their defense. They're big, too. Are they a top four team in the West, though? I don't know. Yes. 
Yes, I, I think they are. Probably I mean, you've the got f- four. Yes, Golden State. They're better than Golden Minnesota. State. Minnesota. They're better than Minnesota. Sacramento, your Kings. They're better than Sacramento Kings. I don't know. I think that this is the all-in last year of LeBron James. Phoenix. Oh yeah, no. This. The, by the way, he's not going to play with. You think this is uh, last year after everything that went down with him? I, I yeah, that's I don't know. I don't know. I, yeah, because he that, dedicated that, this year to to Bronny, and so that makes me feel like maybe maybe this, this is not. It. Yeah, he might. Yeah, with the health issues and whatever's going on with Bronny's heart, like it, it yeah. may not work out that way now. And then Bryce is too young to, to stick yeah, around for. Gonna... Even though I think Bryce will actually be really good in the league, um, <laughs> but I think the Lakers are all in. I think AD is going to have a great year. I think they are a top four seed in the West. I don't think they're better than Denver. I think they're better than Denver too. Yeah, there's I think, a lot of. Really I think they're better than a lot. Of, I think they're better than the Clippers. I think they're better than the Suns. I think they're better than a lot of teams. What are your thoughts on the Orlando Magic this season? I think the Orlando Magic have a lot of young talent, huh. and huh. I think they have one of the best broadcast uh, I, teams yeah, they in have the a entire NBA. Partner that just uh, what? what, what I what's mean, going I think on? they're all right. Hey, <laughs> what's going on? So would love to kind of break the news here because I actually have not been able to say this publicly yet. Um, The reason why I have been absent uh, from a few shows here is because uh, I have officially joined the Orlando Magic broadcast team this season. Really excited about that for Bally Sports. Uh, Grateful to my bosses at Bally. Grateful to uh, all the folks uh, on the Orlando Magic uh, within that organization that are trusting me to come on board. So 26 games this year. I'm super stoked. Uh, all road games, all in our Tampa studio. So um, I'll be kind of confined to that. However, we'll be making my way to Amway a number of times uh, to catch uh, the Orlando Magic play. I'll be there for the first preseason home game next week uh, against the Pelicans. So Truly, truly grateful, really excited. Uh, We'll have some NBA thoughts coming this year. Uh, Grateful to learn more about that team. Obviously, you guys know I still have allegiances and fandom to the Miami Heat. I love my Miami Heat. (laughs) However, my allegiances can be bought and paid for. And so (laughs) thank you, Orlando. They have been purchased. purchased You heard it here in case you were ever wondering why Ryan (laughs) likes and does not like some teams. There you go. No, super excited. And thank you guys for being patient with me for for missing a couple of shows. Um, Truly grateful. And this is going to be a fun ride. So. So, you know, I'm, I'm taking it back, blown away, and truly grateful and excited. So, really fun. Let's do it. How do you feel about the Magic for this year? I believe, and you and I were kind of talking about this, that they are a fringe playoff team. I think they can be a playing group this year. They've got a lot of really young, like, players and, and stars. You know, obviously, Paolo Bencaro, the Wagner twins, Franz obviously being one of them. Markel Fultz kind of came on with them, the former number one overall pick in Philly. Jonathan Isaac's finally healthy this year. Like, they've got Joe Ingles, I think, was a good addition. They've got a young core. Ingles, obviously, going to be a veteran of that group, but uh, they're going to make some noise. I just think they're still kind of learning and gelling together, but I do believe they will be a playoff team this year, crack that playoff streak. They, they last made it in 2020, um, so it, it's going to be awesome to see. So uh, I think the Orlando Magic are on the rise, but going to be tough to compete with the top teams in the Eastern Conference, but looking for, forward to the season. For those of you that don't know, uh, that was basically Ryan's way of – like running through the list of players. Correct. When he's not still learning the roster. <laughs> he's making sure he we'll knows be the roster. We'll be ready. We'll be ready. Excited for it. So it is a good roster. There's a lot of good a lot of good players on that. NBA on players team. on there. I want to see Josh, and maybe this is for next week. I want to see if you can ballpark the number of wins. Ooh, you want it you want me to do NBA yes, NBA I do. win totals next week? Yeah. All right. Uh, All right. I'll well, not for not for everyone. Not for everyone, but Lakers specifically, heat magic. Lakers heat magic. I like Lakers that. heat magic and maybe Bulls. Maybe your sons that you were. Oh wait, was the Kings? are you a King? You're Kings fan, right? I don't, what what Sacramento? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay, yeah, I'll go. I'll go with yeah. that. Kings, we'll go the, Kings, Kings, Kings. Let's do like let's do like five five or so teams. You know where we magic, where we sit. Yeah, heat, heat yeah. Lakers, Kings, Lakers, yeah. Kings, and what else? That's that's a good box. Maybe just stay there. Someone else in the East? Do another. Oh, that's four. We'll see. That's four. Yeah, all right. Love that. Love that. Yeah. All right. Two in the East. Two in the West. Okay. Now. Let's go to movies. Movies. Don't make me watch a scary movie. I please, forgot please. to watch it. I'm sorry. I totally, uh, I totally blanked on it. I'm sorry. I didn't have time to watch it. I worked every every night. I really want to see it. We're gonna we're gonna so, give you the rundown of what this movie is okay. for everyone that did do their quote unquote homework, sort of. Because I do <laughs> I do love this story so much. No, the, it, it's do it's we amazing. Push it to next week. No. No. I, I, 
just because I, I think give everybody time to go see it and let's also, only we gotta, have to we do, gotta do one some movie. Spooky, we got to do some spooky movies yeah, it's, too. It's spooky season. So, uh, Josh, if you want to start looking right now, we need. I to, sure do. We need to figure out what movie is for next week. But the for everyone, one, that, the one that just came out. Yes. You gonna do no. it? I don't want to. I don't want to yes. do that at all. No, I, I, I do odd because no, no, Jennifer Metals is the mom. I don't want to watch. It had a flop in the box office. So. Great. Did you notice that? Yeah, we talked about that last week. Yeah. No, I was talking to Rye. Oh, okay. Rye. What? Did you know that Jennifer Nettles? No, is I didn't. The I, mom I, 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 when I want to, I, I want you to understand when this preview comes on. When this preview comes on, I have to turn the volume off or or move away from my television because the well, preview perfect. of this film. Freaks me out. Yeah, you could just change the channel. Yeah, and it requires more work, honestly. Okay. Then turning anyway. it down? I'm mute. Yeah. So are we are we agreeing that next week is Exorcist? Absolutely. Exorcist. Yeah. God. It's spooky season, man. Come on. Um it's not no. Yep. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Dumb Money, rated R, 2023. Uh hour and forty four minutes. Basically, this is about Keith Gill and GameStop and <laughs> the just absolute madness that happened. It is kind of um, related to, I would say, like the Big Short. Yeah. It's it's sort of that kind of movie. And that, that tone, it's, yeah, but it's it's more not the guys that have figured out that something is wrong and are trying to bet against it, but like a David versus Goliath sort of set up. Yeah, this is how we can screw them over. Yeah, yeah. it's like, oh, the, the these big money guys think they know what they're doing. We're going to mess with them through the power of the internet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very, it's a, very good movie. It's a big sociology experiment. Yes, it is. Paw Patrol, <laughs> it big is dumb money, though. In for theaters. sure. Did you really just say Paw Patrol it, in the it, middle it, of this? It, it, it beat dumb money, man. Only three and a half million. It well, flopped. I don't, wait, no, it's not a flop. It wasn't an expensive movie to make. One. Three million was the budget. It only made three million the entire first three week. Three and a half million, yeah. Who? Oh, dumb money. Yeah. Uh, well, Pop, they never ad- really advertised it. Paw Patrol made 23 million. Okay, first of all, Paw Patrol is obviously <laughs> aimed at a different crowd. <laughs> dumb money. Like, I only saw I mean, the preview in the movie theaters. Shrek 2 made like. Five times as much money as Magic Mike. So, like, let's just, you know what I mean? Right. Different, different exactly. audiences. Yes, exactly. Thank you, Josh. Thank you. All right. What, what are we going to do for next week? Because what we do Exorcist? have to start. What about Saw? Exorcist. Well, Exorcist, yes, but Exorcist. Saw's coming out, too. Well, that's the reason I was asking, because the new Saw movie is coming out. I, I would like, I like the Saw thrillers because they don't, it's not as scary as it is, like, mind provoking. It's not, it's not your thing. I hate the song. Really? Movies. Yeah. So I, I I'm lean, not a huge fan either. So if it makes you feel I lean religious is less scary to me because I grew up uh. Catholic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's just part of the deal. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> and I said, oh my god. Yeah, that's not helping. Exactly. Uh, but for some reason, like just the sadistic, like it freaks you out. Yeah, that because that it could happen. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, that's just a guy. Ooh. <laughs> I thought okay. you would like these movies because it is it does challenge you to think throughout these films. Well, yeah. all right, that's what we're watching. Not the original Exorcist. No, the new one. The new one. The new Exorcist oh. movie. What's oh. what's the actual thanks, name thanks of it? For clarifying the next chapter, Exorcist it, Two. Re- it is, reshot. It's not that. <laughs> it is the Exorcist Believer. Believer. Okay. Believer. Believer. Featuring Believer. Justin Bieber and <laughs> and Catherine. <It's> not, stop <laughs> Oh, good God. And let's go to the hot take. Hot take! Nice pregnant pause there. We love Best. that. We love that. Yeah, you got to give it. Yeah, sometimes gotta, you just got to give it to them. pregnant pause. See if they're, make, make sure everybody's still listening. Um, the best mustard is the hot take for this week. The best mustard. And I believe this was you, right? This was me. I okay. So. Take it away. I will preface this by saying mustard is not my favorite condiment, but there are many kinds of mustards that you can put on. Mustards. Sandwiches, on hot dogs, on waffles if you want, for the record. Oh, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. By far like the best kind waffles? of mustard 
which is in the hierarchy of mustard power rankings, is the honey mustard. It is savory, scrumptious. You can put it on a sandwich. He uses the same it words fits, every single yeah, time. He, uh, he, I was going to say, it we, fits, don't, we don't need you it to fits describe. Very well, it fits very well with any kind of deli meat, right? It gives you that. Not while, any. While you have kind of the saltiness of the sandwich, it adds a little bit of that sweet flavor in there as well. Honey mustard is at the top of the mustard power rankings. It is glorious. I've only and used honey mustard with chicken tenders. You can use yeah. it with chicken tenders. Yeah, you, you can use that's all pretty these. much the only ice only cream time that I. I what? What? <laughs> Get out of here! You never put honey mustard on ice cream? No. No. <clears throat> go, go ahead, Josh. My actual choice would be no mustard. That that would be that would be how I would like to make this but poll. But you have to pick. But one, I have to. So. I, and I I, w- I really wish that my my choice could just be no I abstain. Mustard. However, if I'm going to pick one, I'm going to choose French's yellow mustard because yeah. it's how original of you. Be- <laughs> So good to have you back. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to choose French's yellow mustard because of the versatility of it, because it, it shows up on hamburgers and I don't necessarily hate it. I don't love mustard, but if there's just like a little bit on a hamburger, I'll get over it. I'll be all right. But what I really love it for is barbecue. Oh, yeah. for barbecue sauces, yeah. barbecue oh. sauces, putting it all over, all over a brisket before you put all the seasoning on there as a binder. Totally makes sense. So I will choose French's yellow, even though. I do not like mustard. And I never like it on a hot dog, ever. You're crazy. Which is not a sandwich. Oh my gosh, here we go. Okay, so I am a huge mustard fan, actually. I absolutely love mustard. Um, Explains everything. Whatever. Anyways, obviously, as much as I love regular yellow mustard, and I use that best on pretzels, way better than cheese, um, (laughs) on my hot dog. Yes, but I am actually going to go ahead and go with whole grain mustard because I love. Ew. It adds a little bit more spice in it, and it's. So oh, but much you've better. got the texture of that though. It's like That's, chewy. Yeah, it's chewy it's, mustard. It's, oh. I love really? whole grain mustard. Yep. Ooh. Is there half grain? Yeah. Quarter grain. Well, what's interesting like is that mustard? is sort of where I'm going. Grape no. because I no, I didn't want to go <laughs> grape bomb. bomb. Pardon me. Pardon me. Um. <laughs> Why? There are some people Why? out there that have no idea what we're talking I about. I was right like now. prepared in my adulthood that people would be asking me if I had gray poupon, and it's all the never, time. It's never happened. It's never occurred. Never occurred. Not one time. Uh, <laughs> if you don't know what we're talking about, just go internet search <laughs> or don't. Or, or don't. You, just, but, you missed the nineties. You know, yeah, sorry you missed about it. that. You welcome. missed it. Uh, welcome, <laughs> welcome to Josh's TED Talk by yeah. Gray Poupon. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he hates mustard. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll take the sponsorship. Okay. You have regular mustard. She has whole grain. I'm meeting sort of in the middle, Honey? which is spicy brown mustard. Mm. Mm-hmm. You don't have the deal with like the individual grains. You still get like a little more heat than you do with is regular mustard. Is that more mustard. of a Dijon? Where do, where does, what no, is the, what Dijon is, the... is, is, is closer to honey mustard. Yeah, it's sweeter. It's sweeter. So this is like a, a spicy deli, tangy. Deli brown. Yes, like okay. exactly. That is exactly like what I'm talking about because a lot. you got to put that on. You can put it on bratwurst. You can put it on oh, hot dogs, so good on sandwiches. Like it's great for a BLT if you want to change it up. You don't want to use mayo. It's fantastic. So that's the one I'm going with. Those can are the I four. My answer to the spicy brown mustard. No, no, no. no. I like that grain. we all have a different one. I no. like it. You're going against the grain. Uh, <laughs> All right, thank you so much uh, from all of us here at the quad. And he sticks the landing from me, Haley, Josh, and Ryan. We love you guys. Keep watching, keep listening, and.